Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to episode number 17 of turning one penny into $35,000 all live in the thrift. Oh, you've got mail. I, 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 I got, got the like internet that. going nuts. So welcome, y'all. This episode is most assuredly going to go crazy. And before we get into it, I just want to say, for everyone who smashes the like button, thank you guys ever so much. It helps the series, and for every single like I get, I'm donating one penny to Feeding America, providing meals and nourishment to those in need. And also, this may be your last opportunity to smash that like button on this series and run up these likes that will transition into some meals for people who is hungry, okay? So go ahead and do that. Take the time, I definitely do appreciate it. Now with that being said, let's run some of the numbers, my guys. So I made a total of 74 sales for $1,255.85. I also made $114.54 off of shipping since last episode, and I got paid from YouTube. So my YouTube check was $4,025.17. Now my savings at the end of last episode was $28,505.77. Now when you add up all those numbers, my guys, we are at a total of thirty-three thousand nine hundred and fifty-six bucks. Now, before we get into the thrift, I want to remind y'all that last weekend I was at SneakerCon Dallas doing a pop-up. I made a ton of sales, but we're gonna cut to the clips of me actually in Dallas now, and then we'll see if I did make that one thousand one hundred dollars to reach the thirty-five k goal. Let's get it. All right, guys, it is bright and early. We're in Dallas, Texas for sneaker con. The thrift chariot is loaded all the way up. We're about to unload, set up the booth, but I really want to record this footage because I feel like we might hit the goal today whilst we are at sneaker con Dallas. So that's awesome. Without further ado, man, let's get to unloading. Guys, the homie Gavin just pulled up as I was recording and blessed me with a nice little duffel bag. Hopefully it's not drugs up in this, but if it is, shit, I'll take that too. But uh, yeah, man, thank you so much, yeah. bro. There's some keys, some hoodies in there. Shit. Oh, bet. Thank you, man. Okay guys, so we got mostly everything put up. Still got to arrange it. The homie Chris, shout out your page, bro. Let people know. It's my vintage on Instagram. So he helped me unload and blessed me with some gear for the baby. My son is here, it's his first ever event. Is that Carhartikish? Bro, look at this. Look at this. Got the little Monsters Inc. Baby swag. Bro, what's crazy is I have this t-shirt in my size. Yeah. Look, Little man, look, look at all the clothes, guy. dude. You like it? We got the Buzz, Buzz Lightyear. Light no way, bro. I think I know what this is. Oh, snap. Little Griffy with the yeah, Griffy. Let's, let's go. Hey, we can put Cantu on the back of that. And we got a Another University of Texas. Oh, my God. This thing is gorgeous. Hey, thank you, bro. Thank you, bro. That is love. Um, Hold on, man. The homie just pulled up. Yes, sir. Um, dropped off this awesome t-shirt. This thing is super sick. What's Check. your page, bro? It's VitCheck underscore SLC. Dang. This thing is gorgeous. Gorgeous. All right, guys. We have everything set up. It has taken some time, but this is the first event where we're done early, which is crazy. We have a billion planters. We have a ton of clothes. And legit, I didn't know I would be here until four days ago. So, four days ago. So it was absolutely crazy the amount of work that was put in. Kinky's behind the camera. I'm hoping for a good, fun-filled day, and hopefully we can empty the table of the planters. Plant two season, sneaker con Dallas is going down.
So Dallas was amazing. And just to update you guys on the profit I made, I made $4,201 at SneakerCon Dallas. So we have a grand total from this series of $38,101.56. So we more than exceeded the goal. I actually started cashing out at SneakerCon Dallas and I spent about $1,500. So that doesn't even include that in my profit margins. And also I spent like 800 on a hotel and dining. So really I made about 6,300 or no, 6,500 at SneakerCon Dallas. So it was absolutely incredible and I was able to ball out and still have an extra 3K at the end of the day to add on to the budget. So it's been 17 episodes and we have reached my ambition, my goal of paying off my house and being 100% debt free. So thank you guys ever so much. But without further ado, I know why you guys are here and that is to watch me thrift to find some bangers. So uh, let's go ahead and hop, skip and jump into the first spot and see what they got. Thank y'all, all of y'all for supporting this series. And I'm telling you guys, I'm gonna do a full update on paying off my house because it definitely was a crazy process. I hear birds chirping. That is a good sign. That is a thrift omen. We're at the Family Thrift Center. Little Kinky Twist is live in the mix, rocking his Pusha T merch. He did learn how to cook up a nice cake for addicts. I'm gonna be serving the fiends. Tripping. Embrace the ambiance. New racks, who dish. What's going on? All right, we got this beautiful red Columbia jacket. As okay, you can see. Clifford. Um, the price though. You see this? Thirty dollars. What? Tripping. Personal file. Tripping. Then we got this beautiful. Not another nice one. Black car car jack. Ooh, workwear. Fifty dollars. Oh my god, that's oh how much god. I would charge for this. Well, not here. Come on, bro. We can Absolutely do that. unreal. Smoking crack. Unreal. Okay, look at this. The stark contrast. I think this was an error of the pen. Maybe they forgot to put another one right there. But for only two dollars, <laughs> they have the Nike Zip Up Rass berry hoodie absolutely gorgeous this is new school still cool but for two dollars come on man that's like a fry and a half oh that dupont jeff gordon that's a nice little cut right here heavy cotton y'all know i love my crew necks like my cowgirls reverse weave you feel me what four dollars <laughs> double xl that was such a stretch you got the virginia uh what are they the cavaliers i think it's something like that man the virginia two swords what is that right there nice little vintage ralph Lauren sweater oh that looks like a banana smoothie oh dude you you don't pull up with them pants bro you think you flexing bro uh-uh you dude you pulling up with them pants bro Dang, dude, Come you on, cannot sir. sneak around in that material. That nylon, you'll be like, <laughs> yeah, guys. No sneaking, no creeping in the Nike in the Nike track pants. Okay, this is easily one of the best Nike tees I've ever seen. You have a dolphin contorting its body to form an alphabet in the Nike Air. Seven dollars. Yeah, that pricing is way too high for this guy. Tripping. Who that is? That big Kurt. Big Curtis. Yeah, I bet the Rams wish they had him right now. Exactly. Bro, why is this gold and this is like a yellow green? <laughs> this is also a different color. It's like tritone jerseys. <laughs> and they're still yaxing. 
Speaking of which, man, I don't even really want to complain that heavily, but every jacket is like $20 Adidas, right? You got a Nike, $24, and then just random-ish is like 30 bucks. I'm about to hop off a building. What brand is that? Hobo brand. Hobo brand? Yes, hey, hobos do rock those dope puffer jackets, like them yeah. starter pro players. Sway. They stay equipped. All right, guys, we actually found, found something. They got some Jordans in the thrift. The pure money fours in my size. I think these are anything but pure. These are uh hey bro, you just got it. Oh you used and abused, bro. Up a little bit. It looks like someone was doing a moonwalk into a campfire, bro. This looks like a toasted marshmallow on the heel. Um but I mean my size and they're only four dollars <laughs> with the heel drag included? Perfect. What do you guys think, dude? I could do a cool custom that I'm actually never gonna get to. What do y'all think, dude? These are pretty disgusting. Bro, I just found my favorite channel. What channel is that? The Broad Channel. I'm chilling with my Broad, and you already know. And if you wanna reach me, hit me on the dial low. What's your favorite basketball team? The Chicago basketball team. All right, dude. Hey, back to the roots. Why well, I originally got into thrifting. The vintage snapbacks. Nice. Kiki found this $2 and coat. St. Louis Blues. This is new school, but still cool. The Vancouver Grizzlies, Adidas. Just the colorway and the fit. Hardwood Classics. All right, boys and girls, ladies and gents, we are out of there. $34 spent. Not too much stuff. I got the Pure Money Fours because I'm gonna make them with some planters. And I got some plants, which you guys can't see, but they're in this bag. So we're gonna see where else we go. Oh! Authentic shit stained toilet paper in the parking lot. Hey, you gotta get it how you live, man. Let's get on to the next thrift. I know I can make it right. I wanna rock with you, baby. All night long. I wanna roll with you, baby. All right, guys, we have arrived. Next spot, y'all can see Family Thrift Outlet Zeplog, and it is hot as Hades in Texas. It's probably around 94 degrees right now, Trippy. which is just so unfortunate. It's supposed to be the fall time, but we cooking like a damn, we cooking like a damn bagel on an open fire grill barbecue pit. <laughs> what? Stupid. In here, man, first little piece are some Dear John, great movie, seersucker shorts. No, in all seriousness, man. Speaking of fall time, let's tap a tree and get some scissor. You got the Toronto maple leaves? Wow. Oh my God, dude, look at the vasculature, the venation. Crazy, starter that goes harder, and then only God can judge me. Yes. Dang, what era is that mouse from? That looks like an 80s, 80s old varmin. You make king? Hey. Oh, Eureka oh, Springs? Hey, Krunet King, man, I hail, I hail within thine presence. Yeah, I speak 15th century. Shut the fuck up, bitch! It seems like a reoccurring theme in here, man. You got Big Tubby Tubby, some poo in the thrift. Look at that poo poo right there, man. Nice little drizzle, little battering of honey right there. Oh! Shout out Joe Burrow. Oh my lord, that fool is planking. Yes, sir. Who they think they gonna be, them bangles? What? What? Who they think gonna beat them? Oh my fault. Dude, I cannot read, seriously. One, one, two, can't even read. <laughs> Bro, this shirt is fire though. The big AlexJonesInfoWars.com. No. <laughs> oh my God. I feel like this is a self portrait, bro. You got the Beavis and Butthead. Are you threatening me, t shirt? This is vintage. Unfortunately, someone did go ahead and decapitate the tag, but it's fire, literally. Look, we had a nasty little appetizer in the last store, but this is the real deal. Crew neck king? Actually, it's kind of like a long sleeve. Yeah. Oh, long sleeve Salantalot. <laughs> Hold on, bro. Let me look. Let me let me peep the embroidery, bro. Look at all of that, man. Quaker State Fritos, little flames on the sleeves. Hey, and then look at that neck, bro. Those sleeves look like you can slide out easily. Mm -hmm. Easily. Hold e on, man. You could be working out and just pop a bicep right through that. That's right. Adidas, the brand with the tree stripes. That's right. I'll drill y'all. Bro, they got that trip Goodman. Freaking backside grope satin jacket. Oh no, sir. Hold on, I think this is actually reversible. This is definitely more of a new school piece, but it ain't nothing like having a skeleton gripping on them tatas. East Village, New York. 
I'm actually gonna get this. What is that? Some vintage Russell for you. Vintage Russell Athletic? Yes, sir. Oh, this is that extra old school. Mm -hmm. What else you got, King? Shit, I got that uh, Harley Davidson. Oh, St. Louis? You already know the front is trash. <laughs> Big arch to the west. All hey, right. the backside is all that matters, though. Let's be yeah, real. You got that. Bugs Bunny St. Louis Cardinals. One bird, one bat, one bunny, one bat. That's right. Hold on, nature's getting a bit wild. That U.S. Olympics. Oh my God. Hey, Franklin, hurt. Franklin the tortoise. That tortoise is going crazy. With the headband. Yeah. Yo, that tortoise got more swag than me. Swag. Hey, shout out my grandfather, man. You have the U.S. Navy, Seabees. Holy shit, Robo Insect. This is frightening, but also fire. Is he lighting a cigarette? What is that? I don't even know what's in his hands. It looks like he's lighting a cigarette with a wrench. This is so sick. Dang, dude, the 1995 NRA champions, the Houston Pocket Rockets. Hold on. Get glizzed also, up, boy. 94. Oh, did I say 95? Yeah. Fuck! I'm numerically dyslexic. Hey, this is super hard, though. Yes. Hey, double on the Stiage, that is extra high quality for that arrow. H-Town, Texas, Braveswood, baby. It is H-Town, Texas, Braveswood, baby. Guys, the thrift hit me with the classic got him. I was like, these Nikes are clean as hell. And then look, dude, they're having a whole conversation with me. Damn it. Hold on, brother. Two for one special. Yes, sir, Kentucky. Hey, hey, one is none, two is one, baby. What you got, that Kentucky? Sir, all the gold. Bluegrass State. Oh, the Bluegrass State. Yeah, all Hello. Gold, all gold, everything. Hey, man. Gold. Hell yeah. Hey, everything gold except that bluegrass. <laughs> oh, God bless, baby. That is some patriotic poultry. <laughs> Look at this. The Vintage American Eagle. Back when their merch actually matched the name of the brand. Big Bald Gang. Yes. Good God, dude. The cross country band. Look at the cross stitching. Wow. Holy hell. The thread count alone on this is nuts. This says Roadie. Wait a second, isn't that the person who like fornicates with the band? I don't know, but I'll grab it. The blatant disrespect. Why are they spelling my name with an O? Trippy. Nah, that Paul's bow. <laughs> what? Hold on, three wolves, one moon, y'all know what time it is. But did y'all know Big A Blinken pulled up to the freaking Emancipation Proclamation riding a bear with the red dot? Crazy, crazy. Dude, banger of a movie. They got the blood in, blood out, one deep t-shirt. Hell yeah. This is tough. Hey, life's a risk, carnal. I think I found the oldest Lego Star Wars tee that's in existence. I don't know about all that, actually. This is on like a AAA tag, or is that like a Delta? But yeah, this thing is super old, relatively speaking, for the Star Wars Lego series. 2006? Damn, Damn son, hey, where'd you find Look this? at this. Oh my God, big Quaker state. Hold on. They got the dirt road racing. They got the 18 wheeler and they sponsored that DuPont crew neck. Shout out Quaker state, man. Shout out my Quakers. Young religious fundamentalists. Let's go. Hey, I want to shout out the woman who commented about our women empowerment on this channel and this t-shirt is reflexive of that. If you treat a woman like a thoroughbred, she won't turn out to be a nag. Did you say yeah, dude. You mean mine? Bro. I don't hear you speaking up. Bro, I just did. I said if you treat a woman like a thoroughbred horse, she won't turn out to be a nag. Uh -huh. It's respectful as fuck. Hey, uh, speaking of horses and whatnot, you got the Tony Stewart Bass Pro Shops, and you got the H Junior, baby. Mountain Dew. Hey, guys, do not lower the sperm count, unless that's your prerogative. Put my Lambo on cruise control. I'm my seat spicy, spouting red like a chili boat. All right, guys, so we jumped out of the outlet and now we are at the next spot. Family Thrift Center, yet another one. I got 50 pieces, 50 Tyson, 50 cent, and it's time to see what this one beholdeth. Hopefully, it is some more amazing scores because Lord knows I want to find some clothes. All right, guys, we're in here, man. It smells like cat urine. I get that cat. Not even gonna lie, couple of pieces, man. They got the Mighty Mac. Hey, get out the way, camera strap. They got the Mighty Mac. And then you have the Barney colorway, another, another Mighty Mac light jacket. These are only like six and four bucks. And then we got a $12 full Nike track set, Whoa. 2000s. Nice ocean vibes. Nice. No freaking way, dude. St. Louis Cardinals, one bird, one bat, starter satin jacket. Hold on, bro, only $10. Bring it a little bit closer, man, this wide angle. Let the people just soak it in, drink it up. 
Mm. Oh my lord. Beautiful. Starter that goes harder. That is Very a gorgeous good. piece. Gorgeous piece. Oh my god, dude. Another one. Look at this. The satin sexiness. Another that is crazy. They must have just put these out. Ten bucks. Starter. Another St. Louis piece. In this case, it's the Blaze. This will go with the hat. What size is this? Size L, man. Hey, but we taking dubs, bro. Right. Guys, so I'm gonna try to pull a fast one on us and hide some thrift bangers behind this plain Jane coat. Trippy. I saw the double Nike checks. Nike they got the multi swoosh bro. Ponds. They're everywhere. Swooshes on swooshes on swooshes. Yeah. Um, nine dollars. Then behind it, behind trap door number three, you have the Adidas ponds as well. Twelve fifty one. These are crazy. All the way decked out. Oh wait, the lighting is horrible. There we go. These are like mac and cheese. Come on, dude. What? All right, they are coming true with the jackets. 13 bucks. Why is this an extra small? Polo Ralph Lauren. But you know it's new school because it is not embroidered. But a little USA on the back, two-tone. Absolutely stiff for no reason. Look at this. You got the Chicago big spell out, Nickelodeon blimp, vintage crew neck, five holla, Viacom International. Oh yes. Oh, that is crispy. The Nike diamond turfs, seven yeah. bucks. Oh. All right guys, we're about to evacuate the premises. Um, cart full of goodies. And last but not least, double X, $7 yeah. center check. Nebraska Horn Keskers. Did I say Horn Cuskers? Horn Huskers. All right, y'all. We're up out of there, man. Two bags in my hand. Kinky's wrist doing overtime. Yes. I think we have a little bit of time to hit up a couple more spots. Maybe one, maybe two. We'll see. We got some heat. All right, guys. Last spot. That's my favorite team. What up, what up? Sports. Yes. And then Kinky found the Kentucky. Wildcat, but no cat? Is there a cat on the back? Dude, Kentucky, no cat. I get that cat. Dude. Hey, nothing can stop him, man. I still get that cat. Dude, I can't believe this is on the Signal Sports. Not that American Express, that American Espresso. Don't start your morning without it. I gotta give that to my gal. Then you got the Snowbird. Bird, Boys man. hitting the slalom through that. White. Dude, those are hard. Man. Where's the check? Uh, Where's wish the and a prayer, dude. That's so subtle. It's so subtle, it don't even need to be checked out. <laughs> this is a legit a vintage 90s Nike windbreaker. No check anywhere except on the interior. Damn. They're confident in themselves, bro. The color blocking is. They, they say they gonna know who this is. I know they did not. They put leather sleeves on a crew neck. Wait a minute. Harley Davidson, man. Y'all wild. Oh, dude, there it is. Super Bowl bound. We dim boys. Old school that Hummer sportswear? Damn. When cars meet clothes, let's go. What you got, man? Nice crew neck. Thing. Ooh, that Chicago White Sox. Is there a reverse weave? Chicago yellow neck. Oh. Hey, check out my little crew neck. The colors. Ah, blissful. Oh my god. Size large. I didn't even know, man, you had the navy plaids. Dude, I have to. I don't know. It's a little scuffed though. God. Guys, I done caught one, man. Look at the chrome. Vintage Nike hoodie, gray tag, 1980s. Oh my, stroke my, my cactus. cactus. I really want this for the personal. The San Antonio Rose, Houston, Texas, single stitch. Bro, ain't no way, bro, hold on. Grail of the day, we're wrapping it up. Grail of the day. Oh my God, Stone Cold University, WWF, all camo, School of Hard Knocks. Hell yeah. Ain't no way. Ain't no freaking way. Wanna raise some hell? WWF. Hell yeah. Holy shit. Boy, look at something like Mr. Freeze with the lightning. That's two. That's two. Dude, then they got the classic drink apple juice because OJ will kill you, T. No way. This is not stopping. Kinky just found the big dogs. Freaking Star Wars team. Bark Maul. God. And just like that, we are back. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed this series. I still had to put together this trip to the thrift because we found some amazing things. Now the Stone Cold Tees did already sell. Everything else will be listed on thrifttypeofvintage.com that hasn't already been flipped, dipped, and sold. 
But man, this is the end of this series, which is crazy. I appreciate you guys for sticking around and along for the 17 episodes. It took me 17 weeks to basically make this $38,000 starting from one single penny. That is absolutely crazy. And I cannot thank you guys enough for not only watching and liking the videos, but for shopping on the website. It really does help me out. And it just goes to show when you put your mind to something, what you truly can achieve. I am financially free. I don't owe a single person, a single penny. Everything I have, my cars, my house are completely and totally debt free. It feels so damn good. So now I'm gonna go to the drawing board, still do a ton of drops, but start making some other content, start releasing clothes in different types of ways, and really have fun with this channel, with my family, and all of that. And I can't thank you guys enough for welcoming me into y'all's lives, for being a part of my life, and making my dreams become reality. So uh, yeah, man, live the dream, eat that ice cream. And until next time, I will catch y'all soon. Peace and love, I'm locked, I'm loaded. And I'm out. Killing these songs, leaving a bloody life, I roost them. And I'm in it to win it, so I'm somebody that you should get used to.